Welcome back guys to another video on the channel. I hope you are well. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we are going to be showing you how you can trade from 1k to 100k. I get a lot of questions in my stream and in videos. Ben, I've got 20k, 30k. Can you do some more lower budget trading methods? So today guys, that is what you have got. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button for more trading streams and all trading videos. Guys, the streams are very interactive. We love talking about football. We love talking about FIFA. Get involved with the streams now the first trading method i am going to show you is the hunter shadow method i've shown you a couple of examples here a parte for 3.1 and an imbabu for 2.2 now uh, for 1.2 now the key thing that you could possibly see here is the shadow now i like training with hunter shadow cards a lot of people ask me and i will point them in towards the hunter shadow trading is because of the fact that hunter and shadow they add value to a card now thomas party right now is going for around about 5.2k can you see that open bid can you see that open bid that we had won we won him for 3.2k make 3.1k actually so we're going to make around about 1.8 1.9 k on this car so how would you exactly you do this now the best time to do this method and this in babu goes from about 2.4k so the best time to do this method in my opinion right now is after pack supply so maybe weekend league rewards squad battle rewards when ea drop a tradable sbc there's more cars on the market now i understand that this method in regards to the PlayStation and the Xbox can be a little bit different. If you're on PlayStation, 1.2K maximum price, Shadow. You can also do this with Hunter. And then on Xbox, PC, you're looking at triple it, maybe 3 to 4K, 3 to 5K. You want to hit enter. Now, what are we looking for? We are looking for defenders, chat. We are looking for defenders. So, Militao goes for about 2.2K. We could bid on this, okay? Now, ideally, depending on the profit margin, you are going to be looking at between five to 600 coins. However, I'm looking at more cars like Delete. Delete will probably go for around about 5K, 4K. And what you're going to want to do, guys, if you're new to this method, you're going to need to you're need, going to need to look them up on the market, how much they are in a shadow or that respective uh, card and see how much they're going for. So Delete looks like he's going for around about 6.2K. So after tax, you're looking at 5.7K. Now, depending on your profit margin, obviously, if you want to try and make a K, you're going to bid... 4.7k if you're going to make want to make 500 coins you're probably going to look more at 5.2k so it's going to be interesting to see if we do win this card at 4.7k guys you are going to get outbid it is part of the job you are going to get outbid so don't worry about if you get outbid you are going to win cards like i showed you that party that we won for 3.2k this is exactly what i've done so you can see 5.2k i am getting outbid so you just move on now what you can also do guys is do it with hunter what cars are you looking for in Hunter? You're mainly looking for attackers, guys. So do not buy defenders with Hunter and do not buy attackers with Shadow. So Nangolan, I've put a bid on him. However, what you would normally do, guys, is just go and search for this card in a Hunter. So Roger, uh, Roger Nangolan, how much does he go for in a Hunter? By the looks of it, he's going for around about 2,000 coins. So 2,000 coins after tax is about 1.9K. So if I pick up this card at 1.2K, I'm going to be able to sell him for 2k and then i'll probably be able to sell him after tax for 1.9k i'll make 700 coins however i'm pretty sure i'm not actually i'm not too sure what does raja nangolan come out in packs is it a cam or a center mid because that is huge so by the looks of it chat he is a center attacking midfielder now we picked him up in a center midfielder which is a position change so what you would do is search him in a hunter in a center mid now what is he going for in a centre mid hunter? He's going for exactly the same. That will card will sell, so don't not worry about it. So 2,000 coins does look like he's selling price. We're going to put him up on the market at 2K. Now, let's move on to another trading method. Let's move on to a completely different trading method. Something that you guys can do if you have got maybe less than 100K. It's just trading with silvers. Silver rare, silver common, silver common. Go to 500 maximum price. Do 1K, buy it now. And then go through the popular leagues, go through the Premier League, go through leagues that are popular. So this Vidra, now what you can do, you can either press it, add to the targets, or just compare his price, and if you're quick enough, go through them. So look, this card is 300 coins. So we see a 900 coins buy it now, and it looks like there's quite a lot of cars on the market. Because we've got a lot of time left, just back out. That's what I would suggest, just back out, search how much he goes for. Vidra uh, in the Premier League goes for what? 850 850 coins now if you could pick this card up for around about 
what, 300, 400 coins, you're going to be able to double your coins. Again, guys, go through the most popular leagues. Go through League 1. Go through the Premier League. Go through Syria. Go through La Liga. Pretty simple stuff. Now, another sort of trading method that I do like is position change. And what do I mean by that? Well, Harry Kane, for example. If you was to look at a Harry Kane in a striker, and whilst this might not be the greatest example, you want to try There will be cards out there that are good examples. So, the cheapest Harry Kane normal is 25k in a striker now what you want to do is change this filter to midfielder so essentially how much does a cam uh, harry kane go for how much does a center mid cam uh, center mid harry kane go for how much does a cdm harry kane go for because they guys those cards guys do go for quite a bit so by the looks of it a center mid harry kane is going for a lot more than 28k am i correct in saying that yes i'm correct in saying that harry kane in a centre mid goes to 29k now this has got 15 minutes remaining it's been on the market for almost 45 minutes however guys they don't always sell straight away so if you can snipe this card a filter that you could possibly do if you could snipe this card for t around about the price of his striker okay i would probably do this on the web app just try and snipe him that's an absolute foul bin what have i done there yeah just if you could snipe this card 25k you could possibly pick this card up for 25k. If you get him in a hunter, a lot of people will probably use the hunter on this card. You can then sell him for 29,000 coins. Other stuff that you can potentially look at, other stuff that you could potentially look at is the UCLs as well. So when, remember when I spoke about the UCL trading, um, about the hunter shadow trading? You do exactly the same, but you do it with the UCL cards. Now, exactly the same principle, but you're just trading with UCL, guys. Now, because there's a lot less supply of these cards you could want to increase the max bid if you're on playstation increase it to maybe three to 4k if you're on xbox you might need to double quadruple or double or quadruple it now marcus lorente guys you're going to have to wait a little bit longer for these cards okay because there's less supply on these cards compared to the gold card however we've already traded a lot with Eda Militao. he goes for around about four and a half k but marcus lorente what you would do is you add him to your transfer targets search up marcus lorente now this card is out of packs because of course he has got an inform card so and it's obviously i'm recording this on the 12th of november so obviously down the line he doesn't actually have an inform um but yeah you search up how much he actually goes for in a shadow in regards to his ucl card so by the looks of it he's going for what seven and a half eight thousand coins one card at seven and a half k now Personally, what I would probably be doing is trying to get this card for the for the price of the gold card. So if we was to back out, how much does the normal gold card go for? So the normal gold one, chat, you see this huge difference. You see this huge difference between the gold shadow and the, the UCL. There is room to make coins. So if you could pick it up for probably 4K and below, you can make a decent amount of coins because the gold one right now is about 2.5K. So some there will be people because they're the same rating will be like, you know what? I'm not getting involved. I'm not bidding on that card. And you might be able to win it for like 4 or 5k. And then you have the potential to sell this card on, the UCL card, on for about 7k. So what I'm going to do for the purpose is actually go and sell, try and pick up this card. Um, I won't wait. I won't wait the six minutes. But I'm going to try and bid like 3.8k, which is a little bit more than what the current gold card is going for. But it's considerably less than the cheapest UCL card. And of course, guys, you could do this with Hunter as well. You don't have to just do it with Shadow. You could do it with Hunter. Hunter Shadow is pretty effective this year. Whilst, whilst you do this method, guys, you are going to understand which cards work well best. Because there's going to be periods of time, chat. Um, you know, uh, well, I, I keep saying chat as if I'm live streaming. I'm not live streaming, Ben. Get that in your head. There's going to be periods of time, guys, that when you watch, you know, when you're trying to bid on these cards, you're going to realize there's only there's a small gap between the normal and the info. So when you keep doing this, you are going to realize which cards do 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 well, which cards don't do well. And I'm just going to show you a quick example by what I mean by that. So if I was to do, if I was to go to the gold um, hunter shadow filter and put in what 1.4 1.5k let's just put in 1.5k right for the playstation again if you're an xbox if you're an xbox um you're gonna have to double triple it now this isn't this is a 84 rated card edda militao i know is very good okay if you if you keep seeing a lot of the same cards more than likely it's not very good so the i don't re, don't see very often with uh, the bridge divide the i'm not very good with pr pronunciations however this card is an 84 rated. So therefore, we might be able to pick him up for what? Three, he's 3.2K. So if we could pick this card up for 2K, 
that we might be able to sell him for a quick profit. So I'm going to try and bid on him, guys. I might get outbid. It's a part of the, it's, it's 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 a part of you know when you're trading, you are going to out, get outbid. Just like with this Marcus Lorente, I've already been outbid. So he's been up to free, he's already been bidded up to three k. In my opinion, completely stay away from it. You're not going to make any coins at three k. This is someone who's maybe wanting him for a team. I who would want to a divide in their team. So guys, that is going to be the end of the video. This sale actually is 2.5k. We're just going to check how much he's actually going for. I've blindly bidded on this card, okay? He's Spanish. Not many people are going to use him, to be fair. So hopefully he will sell for a little bit more than um, 2.5. So as you can see, there's only one under 3.2. What about 3.5? So guys, in my opinion, I'm going to be able to sell this card for 3.5k. There's two under 3.5k. They've just been listed pretty much um, on the market. They've only been on the market five minutes. Guys, never list your cards for the last buy now. Always sell them for maybe the third or fourth. Uh, last but now so i'm gonna put this card up for 3.5k he should sell within a couple of hours he might not sell straight away guys he might not sell straight away so guys that is going to be the end of the video i hope i've explained a couple of methods that you can you guys can use the hunt the shadow method with gold with you shells the silver method the position change method guys go on footbin look at players that are in a striker that are striker look at them in a center mid cdm camp see if there's any room so that you guys can make some profit and you could do it with cdms guys Look at CDMs that have been converted in a striker to get good links. You know, like Sissoko. You see Sissoko when he's built in teams, he's a striker. Look at Sissoko in a striker in a cam in a centre mid. He comes out as a CDM, I think. If I'm wrong, just look at someone in a CDM converted to a striker. You get exactly what I mean. Guys, hit the like on the video. That would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe for more trading videos. So get involved in the streams, guys. The streams are very interactive. Everything I cover in videos, I cover in streams and vice versa. Guys, get involved. It's a fun, active community. We talk football. We have good vibes. We do. We just have fun. And that's what trading is about. I'm not the best trader in the world. However, I have to have some kind of basic knowledge. We, have, we put our personality on it. We're not the best trader. However, we do try and make you guys coins. Get involved. Hit the subscribe button. We're close to 18,000 subscribers. The support lately has been insane on the subscriptions one on the subscriptions front. Appreciate all the love, guys. Catch you next video. See you later.